All right, we're talking football with uh, Daniel Black from For Whom the Cowbell Tolls on the SB Nation platform for the Bulldogs and the spring scrimmage coming up this Saturday, maroon and white. So quarterback situation is a huge focus for every program, and it seems as though uh, there are more quarterback battles across the country than um, than I can remember, but not so much at Mississippi State. Nick Fitzgerald battling back from that horrific injury against Ole Miss, but Keaton Thompson, based on his level of play in the Egg Bowl, but then uh, kind of building on that in the bowl game victory over Louisville, uh, seems to be impressing Joe Moorhead uh, based on the comments that I've heard. So set us up for the quarterback uh, situation. Well, I'd say that that's going to be the most fascinating thing to see in the spring game and just as as a whole as spring practice goes on because Keaton Thompson's been getting a very large majority of the uh, first team reps uh, as Nick Fitzgerald uh, rebounds from this injury. Nick Fitzgerald is almost 100% and that was expected um, in the prognosis of his injury immediately after the Egg Bowl back in November. Um but still, Keaton Thompson is getting those first-team reps, which is going to be good for Mississippi State's future. You mentioned how he uh, played a majority of the Egg Bowl, and he had a really good performance in the Tax Slayer Bowl against Louisville. Um, but that's going to be fascinating to see how Nick Fitzgerald performs. Um, and also just to see the differences in Joe Moorhead's system. Uh, you know, Obviously, Dan Mullen is, a, is one of the top offensive minds in the country and did great things with – all of Mississippi State's quarterbacks and Nick Fitzgerald, you, you could tell his uh, progress last season. But we're, Joe Moorhead uh, has sort of promised to add a little bit to that. Uh, see, maybe let uh, Nick Fitzgerald a bit, bit let him or set him free, I guess. Um, but we'll see um, how he'll perform in Joe Moorhead's system. Just how, uh, just where his comeback is in terms of his injury. Um, but in addition to that, saying how Keaton Thompson performs uh, after his solid performances last season. Yeah, so for Nick Fitzgerald, despite missing basically the last two games of the season, still accounted for 29 touchdowns throwing and running and almost 1,000 yards rushing after a prolific 2016 campaign, especially on the ground. And you mentioned Keaton Thomas uh, hit on uh, about 49% of his passes, two touchdowns and two picks. And again, we saw the improvement from the Ole Miss game uh, a month later against Louisville in the upset win over the Cardinals should be very interesting. I know Joe, Joe Moorhead made the comment uh, recently that uh, with the, the coaching staff completely turned over, Obviously, uh, a focal point of spring practice was to get the foundation of the three units in play in regards to terminology and philosophy and to sell that and get that fully entrenched. Uh, not that things aren't going to continue to uh, mount in regards to development and, and uh, complexity of those playbooks. Uh, and those schemes on all three units in August, but uh, that they wanted to lay the foundation. They got to that point with the offense, the defense, and the special teams. Uh, the wide receivers uh, will come into play as well, and, and we see a lot of fresh faces there here uh, in the spring. Oh, absolutely. Um, a year ago, despite the fact, I mean, even with Nick Fitzgerald's uh, solid play through the air, he was pretty limited at receiver. He had two senior receivers, Donald Gray and Gabe Miles, who both battled injury throughout the season. And beyond that, the receiver play was, to be honest, quite subpar. So uh, Dan Mullen, um, in his class, when he was still the head coach at State for the 2018 class, wanted to make sure he put an emphasis on the wide receivers. And the moment Mullen left and Joe Moorhead was brought in, Moorhead, that was his first priority, to make sure he get, gets those receivers signed. We're bringing in three four-star receivers uh, Devontae Jason from New Orleans, Stephen Gidry from Raymond, Mississippi, went to Heinz Community College, and Malik Heath went to Callaway High School. Um, he was the number one prospect in the state. That's one of the uh, outside of quarterbacks. I would say that that's what, uh, one of the most fascinating things to see in the spring game and spring practice is just to see how those receivers are coming along and to see how they'll perform. I mean, the, the thing about the spring game, I was watching an interview with, I think it was Will Muschamp, I guess, uh, you know, asking him, you know, uh, are, is the spring game more for the fans than anything? And he said, well, it's a fan event, um, but it's a fascinating, it's a fascinating uh, 
place to see in front of a crowd in the actual home stadium how your team is going along. And I think that's the case with a lot of other coaches. I think that's their mindsets for spring games. And that's going to be the case with these three wide receivers. They're going to be in Davis Wade Stadium for the very first time in front of a crowd, in front of a pretty big crowd. Joe Moorhead has been um, asking asking the fans to break the spring game attendance record. He's been leaving voicemails on people's phones, on season ticket holders' phones. I mean, he's going for it. He really wants a big crowd there. So to see how these three wide receivers, which in my opinion will be the turning point, um, but just to see the improvement of wide receiver play, I think that'll be the turning point between maybe a 7-8 win team this year to a 9-10 and 10 win team because I think this team has that capabilities to possibly get to that 10-win plateau. Um, those wide receivers are going to be extremely important. So seeing where they stand, seeing their progress in Joe Moorhead's system, knowing that this is their first year on campus will be very fascinating to see.